Let's get an update on Hurricane Burl. A severe hurricane warning has been issued for... Oh, hold on. Burl? Seriously? That's the name we went with? God, the storm's from the tropics, not the Ozarks. Burl isn't a deadly weather event. Burl sells moonshine from the back of his Z-28. Burl has six DUIs. Burl wrestles gators out of Stuckies. And why is it the first major hurricane of the year is named after a man? The patriarchy rears its ugly head again. It's not father nature. It's mother nature. I bet if we started naming all hurricanes after women, they'd do the same damage but for 30% less money. Plus, a female hurricane will do entirely different kinds of damage. A male hurricane is full of testosterone and rage. He's going to rip your roof off and smash out your windows. A female hurricane is going to give you the silent treatment for three days and lock yourself in your bathroom. You know what? I'm renaming it right now. Hurricane Burl is officially Hurricane Barb. Hurricane Barb is currently a Category 4 storm. But with some makeup and the right light, I can make her a 5. Barb is heading directly for Jamaica, but that's probably because her husband never took her on a real honeymoon. And by the way, two nights in your uncle's cabin with no running water is not a honeymoon, Steve. And I know for damn sure your uncle didn't charge you. Barb is an extremely dangerous and extremely large hurricane, although she prefers to be called plus-sized. Maybe big-boned. Let's just say she's curvy. Like, she'd be a great fit for one of those Dove soap commercials. Yeah. Meteorologists are blaming her size on rising ocean temperatures, but I personally blame the fast food industry. With her schedule, who has time to cook? Barb is moving towards the Gulf of Mexico at about 30 miles per hour, or about the speed of an Boeing Airbus on one engine. Barb is currently single, enjoys boutique coffee and puzzles, and wants a man who knows how to listen. Back to you, Greg. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Bixby Media YouTube channel. Check us out every Monday for the Monday Monologue. That's where we look at news and current events and make fun of them. And then on Fridays we do probably politics. Uh, that's political jokes. We cover the week in politics and make jokes about that as well. If you like reading and laughing, check out my new book right here. Sex, Lies, and High School Principles, available on Amazon. Thanks again for watching. Weldy out.